Hello guys and welcome back to the Speedplay, um, not base, but Speedplay world. I'm in, again I'm out doing some uh, node collecting and I was down in a hole and why was I? Well, looking at this node, it's not a big, it's not the best node but it's quite decent and I need the, uh, the Perdito. And since I'm out doing this uh, refilling at night, so and uh, well now and then, I can't really remember when uh, when these are filled up. So what I do with, before I move them, I do some AFKing, like like I did down here, and make sure that it's completely full before I do this. Well, let's see, I have oh, 78 Ignis and the rest is okay, but... Hmm... Do you know if the... If the... Uh, what's it called? Yeah, this one. Uh, the Thaumaturge robes and leggings, the, the set. The V discount, is that also on this? I don't think so. But uh, here we go. So let's do that and trap it in a jar. And so the the important thing is to make sure that the node is completely full before moving it. Before it, because if you drain it out in the field and then you move it, then uh, it will not regain it its uh, charge. It's that simple. So if you drain something to 111 or just one V left, well, that means that, oh, that means that it won't uh, fill back again when you place it back to where you want it. And let's see, we have another node stabilizer. Now I should definitely have this. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps not like that. Now let's see, 28.8 instead of 32, so definitely worth it. Okay, another stabilizer, I don't think you need it, actually. And what do you think about this new design? I skipped the purple. I think it's better like this. Tell me what you think. So, I think that you should be able to have one one of these uh, nodes out freely because if this one is sealed then or stabilized then this shouldn't be drawn to it but uh, don't yeah i don't dare to <laughs> to promise anything so the next node I will get will probably be some Ignis. So do like that and refill that one. Nice. And in a while, or here will be the place where I have the uh, recharge station, but uh, we need arcane infusion for that. So that will have to wait. So the range for the, for the recharge station is uh, quite large actually it's uh, 17 by 17 blocks in all direction well i don't know if it's hmm i i don't know. it could be on this plane only on the plane but uh, so you can have it this large and uh, also sp expand it over here somewhere filled with nodes so you sh and yeah Perhaps you can have uh, have them below or above as well, but I, I don't know. I think this is how I will have it. And then I'll keep this area open and around here somewhere, either in this center or I just dig straight into this wall. Hmm. Where I have the arcane infusion. So that's the next step to, uh, to prepare in the, down here. And uh, do some decoration, of course. And annoying 
is that there was this large cave system down here. So I'll probably have a lot of mob hmm, annoying sounds in there. I need to take care of that at some point just to prevent the sound from when uh, when recording. But uh, yeah, good thing we have. Uh, I will do most of these moves off cam. Of course, you have seen them, and there are other ways to do moves as well. But this is the Thomcraft way to do move nodes, and uh, it can take some time to really fill up this many because it costs like seventy five each. Or something I don't remember exactly but it doesn't matter what's important is that we have flight and we have notes coming in and this means that we can soon begin with some arcane infusion and stuff and I haven't really done that myself so it will be really fun to try that out so new room definitely better and yeah I'll see you in the next one take care Bye-bye.